First in the nation reparations task force is holding their first two final public hearings about that controversial proposed payment for families of slavery. Fox 40's Carmen Dickerson taking a closer look at the questions that were posed during today's meeting and the questions that are still remaining. We are here to support the unprecedented work of this task force. It may be a California reparations task force, but. What California does with reparations, so will the nation, so will the federal bills. So clearly, I, I really believe in what we're doing or else I wouldn't have gone on the plane, flown down here to be here today. It's that feeling of the potential widespread implications of California's reparations task force, which inspired this man to travel from New Orleans to Sacramento for the last week of scheduled hearings. It's not going to solve the problem if we just throw money at it. Land, as was mentioned, and also programs and resources. The task force created in 2020 by Assembly Bill 3121 is charged with examining the modern day impact of slavery on African Americans, specifically those descended from American slaves. Lineage matters because reparations is a debt owed to the descendants of chattel slavery in America. It is not a catch all for injustice. California was not a slaveholding state. However, the work of the reparations task force details what they see as specific harm suffered by African Americans in California as a result of slavery. Those harms, according to the task force, impacted housing, education, political representation, and land and business ownership for blacks in California for more than a century after slavery ended. Having met publicly about two dozen times over the last year and a half, the task force is still working to determine what they believe reparations should involve, but could include cash payments, grants, and tuition assistance. We'll direct victims and or all African-American descendants of U.S. slavery in California who meet the residency requirement be compensated. Key questions still remain to be decided, including will recipients have to be California residents? And perhaps the question of most high interest. How will reparations be paid and measured to ensure the form of payment aligns with the estimate of damages? In Sacramento, Karma Dickerson, Fox 40 News.